Come now all you faithful, look upon the cross. For our Savior died there to save all the lost. Mary stands there weeping, heart so pierced with sorrow shedding tears so bitter, mourning her son. On that holy evening, Jesus prayed for us, knowing that the morrow would bring him the cross. Judas would betray him for the coins of silver and be lost forever, lost forever. All that he would suffer was to ransom us. For the price of our fall was to be the cross. Now we must remember only Christ could save us. No one else could suffer all that he lost. Now we must remember only Christ could save us. No one else could suffer all that <clears throat> he lost. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace of on high, for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God. And for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend metropolitan, William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyter at the diaconate in Christ and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have <coughs> mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and her whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
for to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who being in mortal, deign for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. <coughs> o Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom the attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Angelic powers appeared at your tomb, and the guards became like dead men. Mary stood at the tomb seeking your most pure body. You despoiled Hades without a challenge. You the giver of life met the virgin. O Lord, risen from the dead, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Now the season for virtues has arrived. And the judge is at the door, without looking gloomy. 
Let us fast offering tears, vigils, and alms, and let us exclaim, Our sins exceed the grains of sand by the sea, but forgive us all, O Creator of all, that you we may receive the incorruptible crown. <clears throat> For you are holy, our God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. You, O Lord, will keep us and preserve us forever, forever, from this generation. Save me, O Lord, for the righteous have vanished. You, O oh Lord, will keep us and preserve us forever, forever, from this generation. Wisdom. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul the Apostles to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive, brethren. Scripture says, Lord of all you established the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. All of them will grow old like a garment. You will roll them up like a cloak, like a garment that they will be changed. But you are the same, and you wears will have no end. To which of the angels God ever said, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Are they not ministering spirits, served to serve those who are to inherit salvation? In view of this, we must attend all the more to what we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the word spoken through angels stood unchanged, and all transgression and disobedience received its due punishment, now shall we escape it if we ignore a salvation as great as ours. 
announced first by the Lord. It was confirmed to us by those who had heard him. Peace be to your reader, wisdom be attentive. Alleluia. 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 The one who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides in the shadow of the God of heaven. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. He says to the Lord, you are my protector, my refuge and my God in whom I trust. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. At one time, Jesus came back to Capernaum after a lapse of several days and word got out that he was in a house and that the people began to gather in huge numbers outside the house and inside the house. There was no longer any room for them even at the front door. While Jesus was delivering God's word to them, some people came bringing a paralyzed man to him. The four men who carried him were, were unable to bring him in to see Jesus because of the huge crowd. So they began to open up the roof over the spot where Jesus was sitting. When they had made a hole in the roof, they let, Jesus, they let the man down on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their great faith, he admired them, but he told the paralyzed man, my son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting in the house asking themselves, why does this man talk this way? He commits blasphemy. Who can forgive sins? Only God alone. When Jesus was immediately aware of their reasoning, though they kept it to themselves, he told them, why do you harbor these thoughts? Which is easier to say to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven, or if I would tell him, stand up, take up your stretcher and go home, that you may know that the Son of Man has authority and power on earth to forgive sins. He told the paralyzed man, I command you, get up, take your stretcher and go home. The man stood and picked up his stretcher, and he went outside the house in the, the sight of everyone. They were amazed, and everybody began to praise God, saying, we have never seen anything like this before. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory. my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. In continuation of our little reflection on our communion prayer, this Sunday we come to the, the sentence, accept me today 
as a partaker of your mystical supper because I will never betray you with a kiss as did Judas. In the Old Testament, the prophet Zechariah said these words. I told the people, if you think it best, give me pay, but if not, keep it yourselves. So they paid me 30 pieces of silver. And God told me, take it and put it in the treasury. This handsome price at which they valued me. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and I put them in the treasury in the house of the Lord. Now this happened before even Jesus came around. The prophet Zechariah prophesied an event where somebody would pay out 30 pieces of silver. That somebody in this sentence is Judas. Jesus asked Judas, would you dare to betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Elsewhere in the Bible, in John, Mary Magdalene took ointment. One of, the, one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was there to betray him, bitterly complained and objected, objected, why wasn't this ointment sold? The money could have been given to the poor. And Jesus said, the poor people you will always have with you, but not always myself. My dear friends in Christ, <clears throat> today is the second Sunday of the great fast of Lent. It is called the Sunday of the paralyzed man. The gospel account, according to Mark, is a perfect example of four men who had such marvelous faith enough to keep trying to help their crippled friend get to Jesus to be healed. We don't know all that they had been through to care for their friend prior to coming to that house. Perhaps for many years, supporting him and his family as best they could, if he had one. For certainly he could not have worked. Most likely if he owned a property or had a house of his own, they probably made regular repairs on his house. And most likely <clears throat> took turns taking him out. They were his faithful four. I would like to call them <clears throat> stand-up guys. People who you could have confidence in men who you could admire, people who were dependable, men who were resourceful, men who would stop at nothing to get their friend healed, not even going through a roof. A priest friend of mine once told me, you know, Father Peter, these four men, they should be the patron saints of all caregivers. Think about it. I heartily agree with him. They would be wonderful examples as patron saints of all caregivers. Consider what they went through. There was a large crowd pushing and jostling around that house. Probably very frustrated and annoyed they could not get in. And four men come with a crippled man with a stretcher and push their way through the crowd to get to one of the walls, get ladders, climb up. They risked 
the annoyance of the crowd. The crowd could have said, who are these crazy guys carrying a, stre a stretcher with a paralyzed man? We can't even get to the house, but what are they expecting to do? What's wrong with him? These four men risked the hostility and the anger and the frustration of the crowd. Nothing could deter, deter them. Nothing could shame them. Nothing could discourage them. We think of their example of faith. Are we people committed enough to try to help any loved one or friend, regardless of the time, regardless of the cost, regardless of the trouble? Most of us are willing to reach out to our loved ones and friends, to bring them to Jesus, you might, you might as well say. We're willing to do that as long as it doesn't inconvenience us. If you're a regular caregiver of a person, you experience many inconvenient days. When the person who needs your health makes constant demands or requests upon your time, and your energy, and your patience, and your attention. And so we're challenged by Jesus to go the extra mile for loved ones and friends. The gospel story in Mark says, Jesus saw, he watched, he admired, he watched to see what they, how they did this. Jesus watched us to see how we really care about others. Are we patient with them? Are we tolerant of their human faults? You know, even the people you might take care of lose their patience. They get angry with you. They may complain to you, but you still love them. You understand how they're suffering. You don't take their complaints to heart. Even a loved one or friend is brave enough to point out any dangers to them, even if it angers them. How many loved ones and families and caregivers are courageous enough to tell the afflicted person the truth? Be careful. Don't do this. Take that. Do this. And often anger is a response. Are we sincere and truthful with those who we care for in life? In doing all of these things, you bring people closer to Jesus as these four men brought their friend to him. Jesus loved to say things like, there's no greater love that any person could have than to lay down your life for a friend. Wonderful words, startling words, <clears throat> dramatic and challenging words. And that is truly heroic love to the extreme to give down your life. However, most of us with our loved ones and friends won't have to go there. Do we value our loved ones and friends enough to the point where we're even concerned for their emotional and spiritual welfare, especially when we see signs that they are having problems in that area, that we feel we can't get too involved, we can always ask others to advise them as well. The four friends of the gospel account were willing, as I said, to risk criticism and rejection in order to help their friend. They were even willing to resist when they laid down their paralyzed friend through the hole in their roof that Jesus wouldn't want to be interrupted in his sermon, that Jesus wouldn't want to be interrupted in his thoughts and maybe not even help this man who through great trouble and time and effort they let through that hole in the roof. Yet Jesus saw their faith. This is referring to Jesus' observation. 
They had gone through the hole in the roof so their friend could get to Jesus. They believed and they acted. Faith without works is dead. You can pray all day, you can be as pious as you can, but if your works do not show it or prove it, your faith is dead and your prayers are useless. God rewards, admires, and recognizes effort. What good does it do to say, have faith, don't worry, hold on, and yet not try to really help, each, help one another in a meaningful way? So where are each of us today in regards to being willing to go, you might say, through a roof, so to speak, for a loved one or a friend who needs our help, our advice, our protection, and our guidance? Yes, you can pray for them. Yes, you can send them nice cards. Yes, maybe even invite them to, to your house. We even, we even call on them on the phone once in a while to see how they're doing. But if we go to a more loving, dedicated, focused, and deeper level, we bring that afflicted person to Jesus. So when was the last time we sacrificed our time, our schedule, our resources, our energy, in order to demonstrate how sincerely we want to go the roof? that you might release the power of Jesus to draw another person to him. Those four men were blessed. I wish I knew them. I would have loved them so much if I ever met them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Let Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our Most Reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government, for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. <laughs> Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating trinity now set <laughs> aside all earthly cares all 
<laughs> May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, diaconal, and monastic order, our civil authorities, and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all, invisibly escorted by an angelic host. For the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Grant this to the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your Spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father <laughs> Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, Light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand by, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer. The holy anaphora in peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And
and with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft in their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Son. in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, in the highest. <laughs> we also cry out, with these blessed powers, a loving and kind master, and say, holy are you, and all holy you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, Holy are you, and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, all-pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, the saving command, all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at their right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, our God. Moreover, we offer to you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, we implore, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit, that for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary. In you, O woman, full of grace, 
All creation rejoices, the angels in their rank and the human race. Sanctified temple and rational paradise. Boast of virgins <laughs> from whom our God took flesh and became a child while remaining God before all time. He made your womb a throne, setting it apart. A room more spacious than the heavens. In you, O woman, full of grace, all creation rejoices. Glory to you. Among the first, O oh Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan, William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you and with your spirit now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace let us pray to the lord lord have mercy for the precious gifts offered and consecrated that our God, who loves us all, may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us to return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith for a communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence, without condemnation, dear call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let 
us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the above the heavens. 
Alleluia. 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 Let them praise the name of the Lord. He spoke and they were made. Alleluia. 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 He fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass. Alleluia. 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 Praise the Lord from the earth. See creatures and all oceans. Alleluia. 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 Fire and hail, snow Stormy winds that obey his word. Alleluia. 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 Bless all mountains and all fruit trees and cedars too. Alleluia. 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 Let them praise the name of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Save your people, O oh God and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided Trinity, for the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God all these, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long 
we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating in us the mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people, bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. Now we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you, through his grace and loving kindness, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. <clears throat> My dear people, this afternoon at 3 o'clock, there'll be Stations of the Cross at St. Peter and Paul Parish uh, in Beaver Meadows, and you're all welcome. Please keep in mind the departed Margaret Kudrick, who died this past Friday. Her funeral will be held on Tuesday, and it will be private. So in your charity, please remember Margaret Kudrick in your prayers. Glory to you, O Christ, God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy mother of God, Mary, the patroness of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Lord.